Water marbling is the process of floating very thin paint on the surface of very thick water and using tools to manipulate different designs to create a one-of-a-kind print. You've probably seen water marbling in all sorts of places. This art form is very popular today in clothing, pottery, gift wrap paper, cards, and more. But what you may not know is water marbling originated over 200 years ago and has a rich and beautiful history. It's been used to authenticate royal documents and to create one-of-a-kind pieces of art. No two pieces are ever exactly the same. It's incredibly fun and easy to do. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the workspace setup and the basic tips and tools you need to get started exploring water marbling for yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to ring the bell to be notified when there's a new video available. Thanks! Water marbling can get messy. You need a clear, flat workspace. Probably not a vintage table over an antique rug. You need two trays or bins for water, one to create and apply your water marbling designs and one to rinse your marbled items. When choosing the tray for marbling, it's super important to pick one that's slightly larger than the object that you're marbling. This makes it easier to build your pattern quickly and you don't waste a ton of paint. Paper towels come in handy, not only for cleanup, but also to dry your marbled pieces. Lay them out before you start, either on your work surface or a clothes drying rack can work great too. You're also going to need marbling paints like DecoArt water marbling acrylics, a water thickening additive, a measuring cup, a measuring spoon, a whisk, cleaning paper, your project surface. We recommend you start with DecoArt premium water marbling paper. You may also want to include marbling sticks, a marbling rake, and a marbling comb. And of course, you're gonna need water. Now that you have your workspace ready, you need to prepare a special water called size. Water must be thickened so the paint will float on the surface. DecoArt's Magic Medium Water Thickening Additive is formulated to do exactly this. The mixing ratio for this is two cups of water to one teaspoon of Magic Medium powder. We're using the DecoArt water marbling tray for our designs. It holds eight cups of water, so we will use four teaspoons of Magic Medium. Slowly sprinkle the Magic Medium over the water mixing as you go along. Allow the sides to rest for a minimum of 20 minutes. You may see some white clumps of magic medium in the water even after mixing, but don't worry. They'll dissolve as the solution sits. Once the 20 minutes is up, whisk again to ensure the magic medium is completely blended into the water. Before we start creating our design, we're going to clean the size surface. Use a cleaning paper to float across the surface of the size to remove any particles or dust. Press the paper down gently onto the size. Slowly pull across the surface. Pop any bubbles you see on the surface with the marbling stick. Now you're ready to start marbling. Now comes the fun part. Select a paint color you want to be your base color. Shake the bottle gently to dispel any settling that may have occurred. Air bubbles can form on the dropper. To take care of this, hold a paper towel to the tip. This is a simple way to keep air bubbles out of the design. Apply your base color generously. This helps to create a more robust pattern faster. Keep layering and adding paint until you create a design you love. To make a print, we're going to use DecoArt water marbling paper. Pinch the opposite corners of the paper to create a little bend so that the middle of the paper touches down first. Make sure to release the paper without moving it from side to side in the bath. Doing so can lead to hesitation marks in the design. To remove, gently grab the corners and in a smooth motion, pull the print out of the bath, careful not to smudge it. It takes practice to get the hang of dipping paper, so give yourself some grace if your first attempts are a little awkward. Rinse it immediately in your rinse tray. Want to make another design? The size can be cleaned and reused many times. DecoArt water marbling cleaning paper makes it easy to keep your size clean for your next design. Simply press the paper down gently onto the surface of the size. Pull the cleaning paper up, just like you're pulling a print, and discard. Repeat this process until all the paint is removed and your size is clean. If you see drops of paint that have fallen through the surface to the bottom of the tray, don't worry. It will not affect your next print 
only the surface needs to be clean. Now you're ready for your next design. To clean up, pour the size and the rinse water down the sink. All of DecoArt's acrylic paint products are non-toxic and safe for drains. Make sure to clean your tools and trays with water only. Soap can leave a residue that can interfere with the water marbling magic. What do you guys think? Leave us a comment below. We are so excited for you to start exploring water marbling with us.